Hey Virgo, welcome to your week ahead reading. This is going to be for uh, the current energy, or the day, current, it's time you listen to this, <laughs> till the 22nd of July. Uh, this is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, so please click that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And uh, yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below. All right, let's get into this, Virgo. What does the week ahead have for you? Ooh, okay, some shocking energy, some kind of surprise, some big change is occurring this week. <clears throat> also, be careful if you're, you might have a storm, lightning might hit like your chimney or something, so be careful of that, or a tree out by your house. Uh, little little side thing I'm getting there. Uh, let's take a look here. Some kind, some kind of powerful uh, energy, somebody's pride being destroyed let's see there's something about <clears throat> all right like so as far as a relationship goes i feel like someone's gonna like actually start putting effort into a relationship and it's gonna be a shocker it's gonna be like what the heck we're gonna rebuild after something ends i'm hearing so whether this is a personal relationship or a work thing or just it, it, take it in with like a grain of salt right at this moment something is destroyed some this is like building something back up working to rebuild there's a rebuilding that's happening this week okay and really putting in the effort whether that's you know your house gets destroyed like by a flood there's rebuilding a relationship ends comes to an end we're breaking things down here this is what's happening stuff's being broken down you know just completely we got to rebuild this is what i'm hearing now the foundation is still there they're saying the foundation is, is still there. It's just what sits up on top of the foundation has a tremendous amount of cracks. There's, it's unstable. Whatever is unstable, we're tearing it down and we're rebuilding. Okay, that's the biggest message I'm getting this week so far. Okay, so you also have a queen of wands showing up. Fire energy uh, might be helping you rebuild something here. Um, Let's take a look. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Yeah, bringing back some, bringing things back into an alignment type of situation. Fire sign. Okay, things coming into alignment. There's a fire sign. I there's a fire sign. Now this feels kind of separate. There's a fire sign showing up this week. Coming in is like a like a blessing, like a blessing. She shows up here. She's very peaceful. She's very patient. She's calm. She has a very moderate temperament. And I feel like she, she's bringing some kind of blessing to you this week. So when I say blessing, it's, it's just like she's saying keep some kind of faith. That's what I'm hearing. Keep the faith in something. There's also... Um, I'm picking up somebody that mixes things up like like a chemist or a mixologist um, or a pharmacist there's something to do with a pharmacist this week mixing things up or a bartender there's there's it could be a job or a connection to this person this could be you right you might be um Maybe taking a new job or looking at your work or looking at what you do for a living this week and being like, what the heck am I, what's going on? What am I doing? Or do I need to do this? Or do I need, there's a lot of questions here, okay? There's a lot of questions here. Let me just get a clarifying card. Oh my gosh, the star. Wow. So, so there might be someone here who's, let me slow it down. I tend to go through these messages so fast because they come in so fast. I got to slow down. There might be someone here who's deciding not to work in a particular line of work anymore. Like you. Could be you or someone you're connected to. And they're like, no, I'm done with this. I'm making this change. I'm not doing this anymore. I want something else. I need something better. I'm also hearing 
on a very simple level, you're having someone come in to test your pool water. <laughs> Testing your pool water. Uh, the, I guess the pH or whatever you do to test the pool water to make sure something's okay. Um, I'm also hearing someone here is quitting drinking or is putting down the whole drinking thing, not doing that anymore. And also, like, is done with the water. I heard, I'm done with this water. I'm done dealing with the water. I can't deal with this water anymore. <laughs> I've been dealing with this water. It needs to go back in the lake. It needs to go back in the river. It needs to go back in the sea. <laughs> it needs to, the pipes need to be secured. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm done dealing with this water. I can't take this anymore. I can't deal with this chemical anymore. I can't deal with... Maybe I need a filtration system. I can't, I, like, it's just too much. Which is a very strange message, but that's what I'm picking up this week. Okay. So, there's, the, the energies are playing out, maybe at different times, but I feel like... Someone here is also waiting for the right time to, um, are wondering when are they going to make it big? I'm also hearing that. When is my big break going to come? Somebody's wondering that. And also questioning on the on the flip side, is that something that I want? Do I, do I want to be in this either position of fame or stardom? Do I want to be in this anymore? So that's also a question that's playing out here. Local celebrity or wondering if... It, so do I want to keep doing this? Should I keep doing this? Or when is my time going to... Like when is it going to happen? All right, let's see what else is going on this week. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Swords. Okay, somebody's hiding. It's a mental stress. Now, this could be you or another person around you. Someone is deflecting, refuses to take medicines, or does not want to take any kind of medicine or take anything, even if it's natural. Someone does not want to take anything, um... And someone feels extremely trapped, but they're hiding this. There's some kind of mental breakdown. Someone doesn't, they, I will say, someone is kind of playing the victim a little bit. This is self-imposed prisoner energy. And I feel like they're hiding that. And they're, and they're also holding on to that. Someone holds on to this victim mentality because it works for them. They hold on to this for dear life. Because it's how they get what they want. It's how they get their needs met. I'm hearing very possessive energy. Someone is very possessive showing up this week. Um, someone isolates themselves on purpose as a form of protection. Yes, they st very isolated. However, they, they do it on purpose. I, and so I feel like it's hot. I feel like I feel like someone keeps themselves held back. Somebody's keeping themselves held back. Back. They're not revealing, but they play this victim. Like, like they isolate and they say it's because nobody knows who they really are. Nobody really likes them. Nobody wants to be a part of their life. Poor me and blah blah blah. And it's like self-imposed bullshit. Basically, it's just self-imposed bullshit. <laughs> And they don't let anybody else in either. They deflect. Someone is deflecting this week. Big time. I'm playing this poor me kind of thing here. Now, somebody, I will also say, maybe getting free from jail or being held or being restricted um, But they, they, they're, first of all, I'm hearing it's delayed. It's going to be heavily delayed. But I'm also hearing that um, they're not going to let some another person know that they're going to be getting free. Like it's coming up, that it's coming up. Not sure when, but it's coming up. So they're going to just try to, but there, for others, it will be a block as well. Like a block of somebody getting free. There's a block. Or someone's going back to prison. That's just what I heard. 
All right, so you have the hermit. Okay. Someone's thinking about making a love offer, proposing this week, or making a love offer. Proposal doesn't have to be marriage. It could be. But it's a romantic proposal. Been thinking long and hard, really reflecting. This, this offer, this proposal comes from a place of deep reflection, of like going within with that hermit energy for clarity. Seeking personal truth as someone's becoming spiritually illuminated as far as what is what would what would God want? I'm hearing someone is questioning and asking what would God want. There's some type of influence by the star as well in this romantic proposal that's coming in. The influence of the star is um like a renewal and hope someone is, is seeking inner clarity by way of the star of a miracle so it's coming to you or you're doing you're making that offer to somebody else okay getting clarity and, and i'm hearing someone could be you like i said or another person just saying that i know what i need to do this is what i need to do so this week yeah t definitely going to be some kind of um some kind of romantic offer proposal coming in from another person could be from a Virgo another Virgo uh, it could be from a Sagittarius Leo Aries Aquarius and or Scorpio okay let's see what else all right you have the knight of wands and the hanged man oh my gosh Someone's taking serious action this week towards you. Or you are. So the hanged man. Wow. Okay. I feel like somebody manages to get themselves free. This is what I'm hearing. Someone manages to get themselves free by way of seeing something from a different perspective. Do you understand? Seeing something from a different perspective. You know, like when you have blinders on, you're kind of trapped in a certain way of thinking when you have blinders on. This is, this is all we see. This is all we know. We're not open to seeing other things, looking at things differently. Um, actually, there is a turn, turning point, a twist to that because I feel like someone perceives a situation from a different angle, from a different point of view. And action and like takes action because of this. So the Knight of Wands is very active energy. It's, it's very lusty and free spirited. Somebody gets free, free to free free to roam or free to go is what I'm hearing. Just let me get another clarifying card for this. Oh, I'm also hearing somebody's cat gets stuck up in a tree and they're also giving me a firefighter calling maybe calling a firefighter definitely firefighter oh my gosh it's coming in so hard oh, there's <laughs> i shouldn't say that <laughs> but i said it okay it's out there there's a firefighter coming in for sure connection with a firefighter And it has to do, there's a rescue. <laughs> there's a rescue this week. I don't know. Are you going to be stuck up in a tree? I don't know. There's a rescue. And, it, and they just keep giving me a tree tree vibes. Like, yeah, it could be a cat. It could be like a tree falls in somebody's garage or something. There's. A, I'm just getting this very it, like strong visual. They're giving me this impression, this strong visual impression. There might be a fire in a church this week as well. They're saying, or a, uh, a a place of worship, or there's firefighters. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so we have the eight of wands. Oh my god, the four of wands. Eight and four is eleven. Holla! All right, there's definitely going to be some travel, quick change, and some movement. And it has something to do with either a family reunion 
um, or a homecoming, some kind of a celebration, a reunion with friends. There's travel in regards to this, okay? Um, there's also a lot of communication coming in this week in regards to um, good news coming for you. Good news. There might even be a connection to marriage or commitment as well. Good, but it's positive. This is Cupid's arrows. This is that passion. Lots of communication and good news coming this week for you. Okay. Now, there's some kind of an outdoor event that a lot of people are going to show up to. A lot. A good bit it's gonna this feels like they're giving me like a fair like some kind of fair not a fair like like cheating this gives me like like going to a fair a show a fair where there's rides and there's outdoor and there's food and there's parties and it's a celebratory environment this week traveling to that or you traveling to it or others going to it there's a lot of are you being a part of it? Maybe hosting it or doing something as a part of it. There's a lot. There's a lot of people, a lot of energy surrounding. Uh, I'm hearing if you if you build it, they will come. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. There could be a housewarming as well. A lot of people, gifts, very celebratory energy this week. You could get an invite to something also. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. All right. Queen of Swords is here. All right. There's definitely something's being put on the table that someone's going to need to think about this week. Queen of Swords. She's talking. Air sign energy. She's talking. She's communicating. She's, she's saying yes or no. Do you want this or not? You going to buy this or not? <laughs> Are you? Uh, it's a question. She's posing a question. He or she, masculine or feminine. Queen of Swords is posing a question. And, and Queen of Swords has been thinking about this for a while. And she just does it. She's seeking clarity. And so she's posing a question where someone's got to give it some thought. That's what I'm hearing about whether or not it, it, this something will work. There's a waiting. <clears throat> she's been waiting for an answer. <clears throat> and she wants to know. Uh, let's see. Do you want... Oh, I just, oh, of course, Prince. I'm channeling Prince. How does it go? Do you want him or do you want me? Oh, it's, it's from Purple Rain, obviously. I mean, come on, that's Prince. I can't remember the name of the song. I just keep, I just hear it in my, my, my mind or wherever I'm hearing it. Because I want you. Do you want him or do you want me because I want you that's what I'm hearing I know it's Prince I just don't or do you want her, do you want her or do you want me because I want you okay so either way that question is being asked this week and somebody wants to know somebody wants to know what's good what's it gonna be what's it gonna be the question gets asked straight, direct, straight to the point this week. Or do you want this or do you want that? <laughs> do you want chocolate? Do you want vanilla? Do you want soda? Do you want apple juice? Uh, just a, a very important questions, though. <laughs> Those aren't very important questions. This is a very important question because this has to do with investing. This has to do with um, hard work. And uh, patience and stuff that's being delayed. There's a delay and somebody wants an answer. 
There's been a delay and somebody wants an answer. So the question gets posed this week. Okay, you also have judgment. All right, there's some clarity. There's a final decision being made this week, a wake up call. Let's take a look. Oh, two cards. There's a final decision being made this week. So there's a realization that's coming up this week. And it has to do with... It has to do with somebody being fair. It has to do with fairness. It has to do with ju a, a judgment and justice being served, okay? And there's a revelation that gets revealed that has to do with fairness, reciprocity, justice. Give me a second here. Oh, okay. There's, um, they're just giving me, uh, somebody's coming in uh, to help, I'm hearing. Somebody's coming in to offer help and or there's, or it may not be somebody, but there's help that's coming in is what I'm hearing. Help is, is coming in. And this, this help that's coming in, how can I say this? I don't know if it's specifically a person. It could be. It could be a Gemini. It could be um, the judgment is Scorpio. The help that's coming in there's a magic touch some somebody comes in with this magic touch Midas touch magic touch type of energy to turn everything around say so it's kind of like you know how like okay you want to get a brand new car but maybe your credit score is not that great right I'm just using this as an example or maybe that's your situation I'm picking up on it you want to get like say a brand new car let's say let's say for Let's say for piss and giggles, you want a Porsche, right? Let's say you want that. Let's say you want the most expensive car out there. Maybe a Lamborghini. I don't know. And, and, and maybe you apply to try to get a loan or, or to try to get something for that, you know? And somebody comes, some, there's an energy that comes in that makes it happen, okay? Either like through a loan or a loan officer or something that you're trying to attain uh, it could be like an agent there's a there's there's somebody that comes in that has this magic touch that makes something happen for you where the odds it's the exception to the rule the odds are so against you in every other area maybe you've tried in other areas to be able to, to do something i don't i feel like there's this magician energy comes in and somebody's like yeah don't worry i'll make this happen for you like I, I, I know how to, like somebody's really good at, at making stuff happen. <laughs> it's not like the mafia, I don't know what's going on. But this is, there's something here that it's like, your, it's your turn, it's your time. This is what I'm hearing with judgment. It's your time. Somebody comes in in some way or another that that has this magic touch that that turns your can, can turn your vision into reality that's the that's the message that's incredible i feel like this week is like chock full of good stuff let me see now make sure that you go back and listen to this as the week goes on save it in your your watch later playlist or if you don't have it just you know bookmark it somehow so that you can refer back to this throughout the week as the week goes forward because there's a lot of looks like a lot of good stuff for this week let me see what else okay so you have a queen of cups showing up here and the ace of cups all right so there's a water sign coming in with this ace of cups energy queen of cups feminine masculine energy there's a potential new love start in regards to 
either with the Queen of Cups or you're taking on the energy of the Queen of Cups where you're getting in touch with your emotions, right? And you're nurturing and manifesting love and new beginnings. There's a healing, there's a blessing, new baby or a relationship proposal or marriage coming in this week. Energy. This is a gift. Aces to me are always gifts, like an ace in, ace in the hole, right? That's a gift. That's the exception to the rule. That's a rarity, right? Ace in the hole. Just you, you, as hard as you try to get an ace in the hole, <laughs> you probably miss it more times than not. But this feels to me like this is like a gift coming in. It's a blessing. That's what a gift is, right? So, yeah, here's two of cups. There's going to be some kind of connection made this week. Either you meet a soulmate or there's an alignment that happens between you and another person that hadn't happened before. There's a mutual understanding. There's familiarity. For, for a lot of you, this is new love or a new love start with you and someone. Um... Uh, the caduceus is a very healing energy there could be a connection in the healing healing as in physical therapy physical healing physicians uh, spiritual healing mental healing there's a connection being made that's either very healing or it's just with someone that ha is this relationship is healing. It's a blessing. My cup runneth over. That's what I'm hearing. It's a beautiful start. It's all cup energy. So it's like, I feel like you're, there's a sense of feeling like your heart is going to be overflowing this week. It could be with a friend. It could be with a lover. But it could be a family member or a sibling or there's like a healing to a relationship. All right, let's get some messages of love to see what else you need to know this week. Virgo. All right, you have fate. So first message here that there's a destined partnership. Okay, you also have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. You also have retreat, time alone, or in nature. Helps you recharge. I saw a saying the other day. If you have trouble sleeping, it's because sleeping requires peace. I don't know why I felt like I needed to, to, to mention that or bring that up. But in order to have a good night's sleep, you have to have peace of mind. If your mind is not at peace, it's rolling and rolling and rolling. You're going to have trouble sleeping. It's on overdrive. So if you're having trouble sleeping, check and see what's going on with your peace. <laughs> How's your peace on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you at peace? And sometimes maybe, right, we have to put ourselves in a peaceful place before we can relax and sleep. We get into bed. Some people, I, I envy, <laughs> some people can just get into bed and be like, I'm going to sleep now. They just shut down. No TV, no phone, no nothing. Completely dark in the room. They lay there for five minutes and then they're out, right? Um, but then there's people who, well, you have to turn off your TV, put your phone in the bathroom or something, put it somewhere away from you. Maybe just read a, a, a book to try to... So I always feel like, and I always used to do this, um... I would always read before I went to bed because I'm still. My body is still when I'm reading. And it kind of settles. Do you know what I mean? Um, this one, I was younger and I had toddlers running. on. <laughs> I should have been just exhausted to go to sleep, but no. And But I noticed that my body would get into like a completely relaxed state because my mind was focused on the page. And that would kind of put me in such a restful place that then I would just doze off right I don't listen that that was one thing for me that always worked without you know ever really having to uh 
force myself to sleep. You know what I mean? I don't know. There's something going on here that I'm talking about this, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I guess I need to say it. Who knows? Let's see. What else do you have? Okay, you have here a note. Your true love is already part of your life. Okay. <clears throat> this is very interesting, these four things here. There is a relationship in your life, Virgo, with someone where this is a destined partnership. But you're being asked to be patient and retreat. This person is your true love and they're already a part of your life. But something here is saying to be patient. Everything will unfold when it's meant to. Retreat. Take a step back. Spend time on your own. Go into nature. Whatever that means for you. Whatever nature means for you. Go out in the woods. Go walk through a field. Um... Yeah, you have time apart. Some distance brings what can help bring clarity. So in regards to some kind of true love situation, you're being asked to just leave it alone. That's what I'm hearing. Just leave something alone. And yeah, if it's meant to be, it will be. Don't try, don't, if you have anxiety, don't let your anxious attachment try to control it. Um... If you have that, most most Virgos have anxious attachment. If anything, most most women, most men have avoidant attachment. Um, it's usually, you know, the exception to to the rule would be the other way around. You don't generally find women being extremely avoidant, unless they're well. Those attachment styles, anxious or avoidant, are trauma induced t attachment. They're not secure. So, I feel like I'm speaking more to the anxiously attached. Okay. All right. So you have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn being prominent this week for you. You also have narcissists, someone just being too full of themselves. So that's a sign. Something for you to pay attention to this week. <laughs> you have fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you you might be like, okay, which which one is the bigger narc? Or which one is the narc? Is it the fire sign or is it the earth sign? Oh my gosh. Or they might be both. Might be both. Or they mo or they both might be thinking that of you. They might be thinking you're too full of yourself. <laughs> hey. But if you're a narcissist, you won't care, right? Who cares? All right, you also have a confession, someone coming in to tell you something. Um, they've been praying for you. That's what I'm hearing. Someone's going to tell you they've been praying for you. <coughs> it's like some kind of confession. I've been praying for you. And I guess that would be kind of a confession. I mean, when you're really praying for someone, you, you, you're not telling them that you're praying. Because you know how personal. What do you mean you're praying for me? You need to be praying for yourself. You don't be praying for me. I'm fine. Some people might take offense to that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. Okay. There's a love spell. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's Cupid's arrows right there. That right there. Guardian angel. Love, love, a lost loved one watches over you. You had that just recently um is there's a there's cupid's arrow there's a there's a love spell being put either on you or on another person or on two people somebody's gonna be just like tongue out heart eyes on a spring popping out of the eye sockets just bling <laughs> definitely love spell love spell coming in tongue a wagon all right anything else I think we're going to move on to, I'm not going to do the, all right, yeah, I will. I'll do the Chinese signs. I was going to not do it, but I want to just do it for you. I just want to call you out. Which one of, which one here, for my Virgos listening, show Virgo who's the Chinese sign showing up here. All right, you're the snake, you're the rooster, you're of the dragon, you're of the pig. We have Year of the Monkey, Year of the Horse, and one, last but not least, Year of the Ox. So you could be one of those Chinese signs. That, that just means, if I call out your Chinese sign, this reading is more specifically for you. Uh, more specifically. Okay. All right. 
What do we have here? Pisces, Pisces, and Virgo. Pisces, Virgo rising is a very good sign. Or Virgo, Pisces rising. September 1st. Somebody's birthday, September 1st. Somebody has a beagle. Okay, we have August 31st. August 23rd. August 26th and 29th. Wow, August is showing up next month. All right, someone's 45, someone's 69, 1969, someone's 55. September 5th, September 7th. Oh. 66, 90, 1990, 1966, someone's 36. September 14th, 1978. 1974, 1985, someone's 38, age 60 or 1960, okay, July, significant month, obviously we're here, someone's birthday's in July, we have a December birthday as well, uh, someone plays a saxophone, Somebody needs to change their light bulb. You need to go get that light bulb dealt with, I'm hearing. You do. You need to go get your light that light bulb dealt with. Like, or your smoke alarm, fire alarm, smoke alarm. All right. <clears throat> Asa. Someone's name is Asa. All right. We have a... Um, the initial P, we have a W, we have a B, a G, I'm hearing Bobby, Lexi, um, Bubbles, something to do with Bubbles, oh, chicken pox, I just heard chicken pox, I had chicken pox when I was 16. It like spread like wildfire through our school. That was like 1986 or 85. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember when the chicken pox outbreak happened. And then like in 96, like 10 years later, they had the chicken pox vaccine. Remember? Does anybody here, did anybody here get chicken pox when they were like in the 80s? Anybody remember? Went through, went through the school, it was like so bad. Oh my God, it was so scary. My brother and I were just like dead. <laughs> All right, we have Leia, like Princess Leia. <laughs> Maybe somebody's watching Star Wars. Abilene, somebody's name is Abilene. Uh, George Washington Bridge. I'm hearing George Washington Bridge. Something with the George Washington Bridge. Uh, somebody likes the either the Red Sox or the White Sox. Baseball. Oh, there's something here. Ballerina. Somebody's a ballerina. Or was a ballerina. Somebody is a lesbian. Um, okay. I'm hearing Believe. There's a song called Believe. Um, Belgian or Belgium? Belgian or Belgium? Chocolate? Country? Something to do with Belg Belgian? Belgia? Belgian? Belgium. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, okay. A lie. A lay. Florida. Um, not Florida. Uh, oh, okay. First, now it's coming so fast. Hawaii. Uh, Allison. I'm hearing the name Allison. I'm hearing Sal. And liaison. I'm hearing something to do with a liaison. Someone's an, a liaison. I'm also seeing black and white photos. Somebody's looking at black and white photos. Allie, Allie, 
or Allison or Ali. Oh, wow. Somebody went AWOL. Somebody has chosen to go AWOL. Went AWOL. Is someone who's 57? 57? All right, they're giving me the word beg. <clears throat> beg. Um, glioblastoma. Glioblastoma. They're giving me that word. Glioblastoma. I've heard of that, but I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I hope it's nothing bad. Um, SBX. Oh, and they're just telling me somebody rides motorcycles like dirt bikes. There's something, to, it's a connection to dirt bikes somewhere. Okay. All right, we're going to leave that there. Let's try your charms. What charms does Virgo have? Get in deep and get something that we're not used to having. That's always the same. Ah! Okay, we have stained glass earring here. Connection to stained glass earrings. I also have a mermaid showing up again. And a moon and a star. Wow, beautiful. Moon and a star and a mermaid. Anything else connect, connects Virgo here to anything? Okay, picking up um, a government building. Anywhere in the world. It kind of looks like Russia, to be fair. Let me see if I can show it to you. It makes it gives me like Russian Russia vibes. There's a connection. It could be the capital in the U.S. Possibly, really old time, old vibes. You know, like old time vibes. Long time ago. Okay, and you also have a honeybee. But I'm also picking up, looking at this, that's weird. I'm also picking up a light bulb with a lamp, a shade. Um, I don't know, bugs and lamps. <laughs> but there's some kind of, I mean, this, is it a honeybee? I guess it is. I've never seen that their wings look like that, but I suppose it is. It also, for some of you, they're just saying it could, they're also saying it could be a ladybug, although that does not specifically look like a ladybug. Obviously not. Okay, is there anything else? I'm not going to use the spoon. Okay. All right. So we have white rabbit. White rabbit, very significant. White rabbit, white rabbits. And also cactus or cacti. No, cactus. So it's a connection to a cactus. Could be where you live. You have a connection to cacti or cactuses. Am I even saying it right? I don't know. I'm not an English major. I can't even get I can't. If people want me to speak a different language, I can't even speak my own language. All right, what else? I'm pulling some charms. Oh, you have the Egyptian eye. Okay. There's an Egyptian eye here. Is that the eye of Ora, Horus? I believe it might be the eye of Horus, connection to the eye of Horus or an Egyptian eye. This is the all-seeing eye. Trust your intuition, I just heard, Virgo. And recently you guys might have seen, maybe a couple days ago or the other day, there was a very strange looking, I want to say, looked like a star that was right next to the moon a couple days ago. And I saw it myself, okay? Right next to the moon. And I, I uh, no, it was on Saturday, I believe. And I, I was visiting with my brother and I looked up and I said, wow, that's weird. Cause I'm always looking up in space. You know, I love looking at the stars and the planets and the moon and all. And I said, that's weird. I've never seen that star right next to the moon like that. I've never seen that there before. And he, he looked at me and then he was like, oh, okay. And then he went back to his conversation. But then later that night, I kept looking at it and it kind of moved a little. But then 
not so much. And I was like, what the heck is that? that so I couldn't really figure out what it was. Like, I wasn't 100% sure if it was supposed to be there or not, you know? I just don't recall seeing it before. But then I found out it's a planet called Spica. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Maybe you have. It's a first for me. I had no idea. And the way the planet was sitting there was kind of, I guess you could say, a rarity. So there's something that I'm picking up that has to do. Speak. Oh, my God. Here you go. Spica. S-P-I-C-A is a binary star system in the constellation Virgo that's made up of two stars that are only a few million miles apart and bound together by gravity. The stars are so close together that their mutual gravity distorts them into egg shapes and they orbit each other quickly. That's interesting. Very strong message for you, Virgo. This message specifically that you're listening to for this week ahead, okay? It's interesting. Let me say that again. Spica is a binary. Two stars that are bound to each other by their gravity. They're only a few million miles apart with, with such a small gap between them. No planet could orbit either star individually. Y'all. <laughs> Spica refers to an ear of wheat. Indeed, the star and the constellation Virgo itself were sometimes associated with the Greek goddess of the harvest, Dem Demeter. There are many names and stories for Spica's constellation, Virgo, in mythology and by association with Spica as well. Hold up. We are on a whole new trajectory here just because of this. And look, even that sapphire on that moon is the Virgo bir uh, birthstone color. I would suggest reading up on Spica. There's something here, this message that I gave you today for this week going forward ties in. It ties into you. And with two stars, it's a bluish star that are bound to each other. This could have a lot to do with what we're talking about, this destined partnership in the love area of this reading. Keep that in mind. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that reading here with you for this week. Um, wow, I hope you enjoy that. I hope that was at least fun and entertaining and maybe we learned something, or at least I did. I'll tell you that much. At least I did. Thank you for last week. All your kind comments on me telling my story. I was a little hesitant. Not hesitant. It's just... I just don't like going, I don't like staying in the past with things, but I don't know, it came up. But I appreciate all your, you guys were very kind in everything they said. And I, I read it, I read all your comments. So thank you so much. I, I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave that there again. I hope you guys have a great week. Let me just take a quick look to see, do we have anybody, any new members? I think there was someone. Oh, it would help if I was on, oh, I am on the right thing. You guys, um, yeah, Bronze Goddess, DC Limitless rejoined. Welcome, Naomi, no, no, Noemi Fernandez. Thank you for becoming a member. And, and we had Jocelyn Wilkinson, Kimmy, Lori Beth, El Michelle. Thank you, you guys. Super awesome. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave this here. I will be back here tomorrow. For your next reading, also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I am uploading all the other zodiac signs. And up next, I think I just posted today was Gemini, and um, Cancer will be up after that. All right, you guys, love you. See you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.